In this video, we are going to witness not just one but two magicians performing the magic trick. Famous as the French twins, Tony and Jordan are extraordinary magicians who astonish everyone with their digital illusions. In this video, we will be watching and learning about the secret behind their amazing magic act performed on Britain's Got Talent. If you enjoy it, please show your support by simply giving it a like. In this magic act, there is a large screen on the stage, along with magician Tony. But in the next moment, he goes inside this screen and comes out from the other side, and then goes back inside again. After going inside the screen, one magician becomes two, and then they both emerge from both sides of the screen. This effect will be amazing for the audience witnessing it for the first time, but you already know they are the twins, Tony and Jordan. Now, a video starts playing on the screen, showing a man reading a newspaper. Tony stands outside with a tablet in his hand. But in the next moment, Tony's tablet magically transforms into a newspaper, and the man in the video's newspaper turns into a tablet. Then, another video starts playing on the screen, showing an artist drawing a painting of a girl. Jordan stands outside with an empty frame in his hand. But suddenly, the painting flies out from inside the screen and lands in Jordan's empty frame. In the next scene, Tony holds a bouquet of white flowers. Suddenly, red petals fly out from inside the screen and land in Tony's bouquet, changing the color of the flowers to red. In the next scene, to impress the girl, Jordan brings a box which is empty at first, but then he closes it and blue heels fly out from the screen and land in the box. And indeed, when Jordan opens the box again, it contains those beautiful heels. Meanwhile, on the other side, Tony also magically pulls out a lot of money from the screen. Next, there's a night scene with two street lights, which are currently off. But then both magicians grab the lights from outside and throw them towards the screen, and the street lamps turn on. Tony brings out a bag and shows everyone that it's empty. Then, the moon shown on the screen falls into it, and when Tony turns the bag upside down again, a ball actually falls out. In the next scene, a waiter brings a cocktail with an umbrella. But then Jordan pulls the umbrella out from the screen. And in the meantime, Tony magically extracts a very long straw from a small bag and drinks the entire cocktail shown on the screen. Then, Tony takes out a big empty jar. But the next moment, he fills it with candy using his magic. After that, Jordan goes inside the screen from one side and Tony from the other, and then the entire screen starts rising in the air. In midair, a lady appears and starts pouring out candies from a jar. But the astonishing part is that candies actually come out from the screen and begin to fall onto the stage. Finally, both magicians descend from above, and the magic ends. In this magic act, the magicians do a lot of things, and now we are going to uncover the secrets behind all of this. But before that, if you enjoyed this amazing act by the French twins Tony and Jordan, be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more magic reveal videos. Now, let's find out the secrets behind this magic. In this act, timing is the most important, and even a slight mistake can ruin the entire performance. But here, both magicians have executed it brilliantly. At the beginning of the act, Tony is standing on one side of the screen and then swiftly appears on the other side as if he possesses some superpower. In reality, Tony simply moves behind the screen at this point, and simultaneously, the video starts playing, and at this end, Tony's twin brother Jordan comes out at the right moment, creating a seamless, magical transition. Next, Jordan goes back behind the screen and casually stands there while the pre-recorded video plays. In this video, the magician splits into two and then exits the screen. Now you know that at this point, Tony and Jordan, who were standing behind the screen, come out at the right moment creating this amazing effect. In the next scene, a man is shown reading a newspaper, and Tony is standing outside with a tablet in his end. Suddenly, magically Tony's tablet gets transferred to the man, and the newspaper from the man's hands is transferred to Tony's hands. In reality, the video playing on the screen is pre-recorded, and the magicians act accordingly. As for the transformation of the tablet into a newspaper in Tony's hand, there is actually a piece of fabric with a newspaper print attached behind the tablet, which Tony reveals by unfolding it. The tablet automatically goes behind this fabric in this process, which you can notice here. Since the fabric has a print similar to a newspaper, 
it creates an illusion that the tablet has turned into a newspaper. In the subsequent scene, an artist is shown drawing a painting of a lady, but suddenly, the painting flies out from inside the screen and lands in Jordan's frame. In reality, the painting is already in the frame, covered with a brown fabric. Because of this fabric frame appears empty when seen from the audience's perspective, the fabric covering the frame is retractable and can be pulled back to reveal the painting behind it. At the right moment when the painting appears to fly out from the screen into the frame, Jordan presses a button to retract the fabric, revealing the painting. However, it creates an illusion that the painting is transferred from inside the screen into the frame. After this, Tony brings out a bouquet of white flowers, which gradually transforms into red flowers before our eyes. In reality, the bouquet is designed in a specific way. Each flower has a hollow tube underneath it, and all the red flowers are already placed inside these tubes. With the help of a lever mechanism, all the flowers can be lifted simultaneously. If you observe closely, Tony's left hand is underneath the bouquet, where he activates the lever at the right moment, causing all the red flowers inside the tubes to rise up. This creates the illusion that the white flowers have magically turned red. After this, Jordan brings out a box which appears empty when opened initially. However, when he opens it again later, blue heels are found inside. In reality, this box is a magic drawer with three boxes. In the second box, there is already a blue heel placed. However, you can replace it with any other item you wish to reveal. In the first box, there is a cut like this at the bottom. Also, there is a hole at the same position in the second box, corresponding to a hole at the same spot in the bottom of the third outer box. This second box goes inside the first box, and both boxes fit inside the third outer box, aligning the holes. Here in the act, you can see the magician's left hand is behind the box. This is because before opening the box for the first time, he cleverly inserts one of his fingers inside this hole. This allows the magician to pull out only the first box, which is empty and due to the presence of the finger in the hole, the second box containing the heels remains inside. Now, when the magician opens the box for the second time, he doesn't insert his finger into the hole behind. As a result, both the boxes inside, along with the heels placed in the second box, come out. This creates the illusion that the heels magically appeared in the empty box. On the other side, Tony also appears to magically produce a lot of money from the screen. In reality, these bills are initially held in his hand and are expandable. The magician simply brings them in front of the screen and releases them, causing them to expand, creating the illusion of magic. After this comes the night scene where the magician seemingly lights up the streetlights by catching the light from outside. In reality, the light that the magician ignites in his hand is a thumb light, which he turns on at the right moment while throwing it towards the screen and switches it off when streetlights turn on in the video, creating a magical effect. Then, Tony brings out an empty bag from which a ball is later produced. This is a typical magic act where the magician simply flips the bag to show it's empty, without revealing what's inside, and then releases the ball from within. Afterwards, a waiter appears on the screen, holding a cocktail with an umbrella, which Jordan takes out from the screen. In reality, if we were to observe in slow motion, the umbrella is already with Jordan, and he swiftly brings it in front of the screen, creating the illusion that he took it out from inside the screen. On the other side, Tony retrieves a large straw from a small bag, and with this, he drinks the entire cocktail shown on the screen. This is made possible by the remarkable properties of memory plastic. This is made in a way that it possesses the ability to return to its original shape or form after being deformed. In this case, this plastic behaves in such a way that when opened, it tightens into a vertical shape, forming the shape of a straw. Now, Magician Tony brings out a jar that appears empty at first, but suddenly fills up with candies. If you observe the lid of this jar closely, you'll notice that it's quite large. Inside, many sponge balls are tightly packed. When the magician gives the jar a jerk, these sponge balls fall from under the lid into the jar, expanding in the process. This creates the illusion that the jar is filling up with candies. After this, Jordan goes inside the screen, followed by Tony. Now, as you know, the magicians are simply hidden behind the screen while a pre-recorded video plays. However, at that moment, 
the screen rises, revealing that there is no one behind it. In the mid-air scene, a lady appears in the video and drops candies from a jar, seemingly falling from inside the screen onto the stage. In reality, the magicians go behind the screen and stand on a platform behind it. There's a bag filled with balls placed behind the screen, and when the lady in the video drops the candies, the magicians simultaneously open the bag from behind the screen, causing the balls to fall onto the stage. This creates the illusion that the candies are coming out from inside the video. Finally, both magicians descend from above, and the magic comes to an end. And now, you also know the secret behind this amazing magic act. We work hard to bring you such videos, so please do like the video, and if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon to receive notifications for all upcoming videos.